and their fair share of headlines in their short history. They've been called the Grateful Dead for a New Generation, Astral Geeks, and Downright Peculiar. And they're bound to be generating a few more headlines because they now have a record out on a major label. Camper Van Beethoven have as many opinions as they do musical stylings. And because they've spent a fair amount of time on the independent recording scene, now they think that there just may be about as much hypocrisy in the indie scene as there is in the commercial arena. One of these days, gonna get into it, way on over our heads, and you'll find that there's no place to hide. But if you fight and if you fail, don't fall back into yourself. You can't fall back on me. Tell me just a little bit, you know. You know it's what I wanna hear. Our beloved revolutionary sweetheart, the name of your new record is your first one that's out on a major label, Virgin Records. I'm wondering how has the transition been? Is it easier or more difficult than the independent route? The same rules apply, but actually our our, it's our we're getting the places where we find pressure are the same places we always had pressure yeah, before. Yeah. It's the same thing, the same business. Your average independent alternative music listening person is probably in a lot of ways less less open minded about music than some, you know, some burhead who drives a truck and just listens to whatever's on the radio. Because they have ideas about how music represents a certain lifestyle to them and their lifestyle and they, and it says something about what they think about the world and stuff like that. And as soon as bands don't start uh, speaking about that and how they dress and how they look and what they say in the press and stuff like that and they're no longer popular. That doesn't have anything to do with music though. That has absolutely nothing to do with music. I think actually now what we're really trying to do is just to make music and to not really give a shit about yes. the, uh, oh you're going to have to beef that one. Oh, no, give a shit about, you know, any, anything to do with the, the business or the scene or and just make music and just concentrate on making the best music we can and going out and playing live shows and basically ignoring everything. With all the different musical styles that you've managed to incorporate into your music, I can't imagine a band member writing a song and saying, no, this isn't for this band, I better put it away for another project. But does that happen? That happens. Our whole point has never been to play every single possible style, to play every different kind of music. That's a, I think that's an empty intellectual pursuit. I mean, I just felt like we, we just were a rock band, and like many of the traditional great classic rock bands of the last 20 years, we've drawn on other styles of music to, to give us inspiration and to add to the depth and the color of our music. And um, like the Beatles, I mean, the Beatles, a lot of people um, would probably view them as eclectic and almost a novelty band if they came out today. I think what's happened is rock music has gotten much more narrowly defined and audiences expect bands to have a specific sound. Institutional. I, I just felt we were being like a classic, you know, kind of rock band. Some people say the Bolinelli's got the glaze. record is our beloved revolutionary sweetheart after Patty Hearst that was named. Did you know that they were making a movie about her life? We didn't know that when we wrote the song at all. We didn't know anything about that. I'm serious. They're Perfectly serious. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got... But see, this keeps happening. Like, I keep coming up, or me and my friends would come up with ideas for movies and stuff like that, and they make movies out of them. Like, we had the idea for this uh, vampire surf spy thriller. And then they kind of stole a lot of the ideas for Lost Boys. They had these vampire surfers in that movie, which is really a drag, because I, mean, I thought of it first. Is that just because Camper Van Beethoven has their finger on the pulse of the cultural nation? Um, I don't know if it's the finger on the pulse of the nation. <laughs> Could be a finger up the nose of the yeah. cultural nation.